Hello and welcome to Geek Street Journal episode 3. Yeah, the third week of September is Deaf Awareness Week as well as Pollution Prevention Week. Yeah! Wow. And September 15th is Women's Friendship Day. In 1997, the Kappa Delta sorority invented this day to appreciate the bonds of womanhood and to also give it just an excuse to wear a funny hat and lipstick and eat peanut M&Ms and watch a movie of such themes like Calendar Girls or Where the Heart Is or Eat, Pray, Love or something like that with your girlfriends. And respect for your Elders Day or respect for Age Ones Day. It has been a national holiday in Japan since 1966. It was formally held on uh, the 15th of September, but in 2003 it was moved to the first Monday of the third week of September to do Happy Monday Law, huh? Happy Monday Law was a law movement to move several Japanese holidays to the Monday of the week that they were celebrated, creating more three-day weekends for the Japanese workers. That is always a good thing. Plato Day was uh, September 16th, I think. Plato was invented in 1956 by two brothers, Joseph and Noah McVickers. Their sister-in-law was a teacher uh, who asked for a clay substitute that was non-toxic and safe. They gave her a sample of a product that they were thinking about using for cleaning wallpapers. It was a hit with the kids, so the two brothers started their own company, Rainbow Craft Company, and uh, just to make Play-Doh. And then in 1957, they came out with three new colors, red, yellow, and blue. Later it was patented and then went through several changes. It was then bought by General Mills and then bought by Tonka and then bought by uh, Hasbro, who is the now current owner. In 1986, these uh, plastic containers that we are now quite familiar with came into play. Before that, they were sold in cardboard cans with tin lids. And September 19th is Talk Like a Pirate Day. And you've probably heard of this one. It was a small holiday that exploded in popularity. Like a keg of... Where's my hat? Where's my hat? No! It's over there. Like a keg of gum powder. Smooth, eh? On June 6th, 1995, two friends were playing racquetball when one of them, in their own words, strains something better left unstrained, and the player cried out. Arr. And soon the two were using pirate phrases such as I watch as I blast my broadside through your yard arm. And or other, something like that. <laughs> and other such phrases. They enjoyed it so much that they decided that they needed to create their own talk like a pirate day. All they needed to do was pick a date. Instead of choosing any random date, they decided, one of them decided, to choose their ex-wife's birthday. And the holiday set sail. It was just a small affair that the creators and their friends celebrated until that is 2002 when they emailed their idea to Dave Barry, a humor columnist. And a regular funny man. He liked the idea and wrote a column about it and became very popular. So I guess it's the best week to protest pollution with a deaf elderly woman and with a sign made out of Play-Doh. Down with the man! Alright, goodbye from this week's episode of Geek Street Journal. Tune in yet again next weekend when we cover the last week of September. It's a packed one. We got Hobbit Day coming up. See you guys later. In review, the third week of September is Deaf Awareness Week, as well as Pollution Prevention Week. September 15th is Women's Friendship Day and Respect Your Elders Day. September 16th is National Play-Doh Day. September 19th is Talk Like a Pirate Day. In the comments below, tell us your favorite color of Play-Doh. We'd love to hear from you.